What in the world? That's Salmon Falls. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, good morning. It's a Thursday and we are here in New Jersey. We are at a Goodwill and uh, we're about to head in. This is a new Goodwill for us, but we're gonna see what we can buy and flip for a profit. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm feeling optimistic today. So here we go. This is good at Maine, it? Maine and Vietnam, that's good. Yeah, stick it in there. Stick it in there. Ooh, and there's this one too. These look like um, Sealy, Royal Sealy. Fortunately, that one's got a chip on it. This is nice. This one goes in the cart. This reminds me of a craft that I did when I was a kid. We had to all make fish. Look at this piece. It's plastic, bummer. <laughs> Renaissance. There's a couple of those. All right. Andrew, you go that way. I'm going to go this way. Okay. We're going to divide and conquer. Look at this. It's got a poppy pattern on it. Hand painted poppies. Digging it. Oh, this is delightful. This is so exciting. I love visiting new Goodwills. And New Jersey knows where it's at. <laughs> King quality. I love the shape of that. That's really fun. I mean, it is a full set. And people hate when I break them up. Oh, look, they're selling it as a set, so I can't break it up. It's $45.99, and really all I want is the creamer and sugar, so we're going to have to leave that. This is Chintz. Special place made in China. Interesting. It's made to look old, and it's not. All right, let's keep going. I've got like the most wonky cart of the whole place. <laughs> there weren't very many options. There's some stangle on the other side. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you should look at. Oh my on the gosh, other side. this is amazing! I love this Goodwill. Yeah, I think that's a lot of stuff here. To do. Yes. It's a little overwhelming, I think. Is it plastic? Made in China. Made in China. Just looked interesting. Yeah, for sure. All right. <laughs> My poor sad cart. It's okay, cart. Don't be sad. Nope. Yes, that is dealt. What are these? Those are curious. Sterling China, but what is that design on them? It's like a fire god. Those are kind of cool. Those are cool. Five bucks for the whole set. I like them. They're weird. They're interesting. You know what I mean? Yes, no. Yeah, yeah, I like them. I think they're curious. And for that price, I'm willing to um, embrace the curiousness of them. <laughs> They're kind of like um, Irish cream, but they're small. Yeah. Oh, these are weird. Sure. Designed in Australia, made in China. Those are weird. Andrew, look. Oh, those are cool. Those are they're modern. You should look those up. Cerilla. Skeleton fine china. I mean, for being modern, those could be. Oh, this one's got a chip on it, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. There's another one. It's different though. It is, but it's the same maker. Wicked by Cerilla. 
We should look those up. Those are great for Halloween. You could put cookies on them or something. All three of them for six bucks. Oh, it's all three. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I think they're good for Halloween regardless. I mean, yeah. okay. this one we can toss. Yeah, I'm here for it. These are curious. Got like a swirl pattern on them. Like beach themes. I was looking over in this direction because this looks like a laurel birch. It's not, it's a Candace writer. Let's see what these are down here because I'm seeing quite a few of these around. Majestic Wear by Sakura. Sue Zipkin. These kind of look like the Port Marion botanical pieces. It's $11.99 for the whole set. Those are really neat. I like those. Little luster dishes there. This is oh, made in China. Oh. I like that one. Kind of yeah, it is. I mean, we just sold a pair of one piece for like 40 bucks. I'll take it. Four dollars? Yeah, for four dollars, I'll take a pair one. West Elm. Yes, please. We need the West Elm. Let's go this way. These. Perfect. Little owl. Look at all of these figurines. These are great. We need all of them. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know who makes these. They're not signed on the inside, but they definitely have a detail about them that I love. Because, you know, I'm all about the figurines. These guys are kind of nice too, but I like the other ones more. I didn't even look at the prices though, so I should probably check that before I wheel my card away. I'm obsessed with this owl so much. I also gotta move this West Elm. I actually gotta fix the little child flap. So they're only a few dollars a piece and they are actually signed there on the back. So they do have signatures on them. Alrighty, what else do we have in the figurines? Oh, look at these little, he has a little dribble rat. I think those are just little hobbyist pieces, but they are adorable. Got some milk glass here. Digging the milk glass. Is that a, oh my gosh, I love poking these things. It's a weird like thing, but poking those. Gel candles, I'm here for it. Oh, we wandered into the toy section for now. Also there's some bears. I think those might be Homeco. Maybe, maybe Homeco. What is it, Williamsburg? Yeah. All right, well, let us continue this way. This cart is driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts? It's driving me nuts. It's like, not only is it hard to push, but it's like, squish, 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 squish. Lamps. Where are all the Hager lamps? <laughs> this is actually really cool. Look at this one. It's made out of seashells. Yeah. Looks like it might have caught on fire at one point. It needs to be rewired. <laughs> but it's I, got some age to it. That's I love it. Style. Yes. It's broken on the top, it looks like. A little That's bit. It's a shame. Oh, I love it. I think we need it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't ah, think so. Fire hazard. Yeah. No, it just needs to be rewired. Yeah, but they have like, I don't know, what are they, they had lights coming out here. 
Well, I don't need to be responsible for rewiring. I could just sell it and for $5.99, sell it, and somebody else can rewire it. We just got to cut all the cords out so that somebody doesn't try to plug that in. Well, you can't. There's no plug. Somebody doesn't try to plug that in. I don't think anybody would be dumb enough to plug this in. I wall. mean, uh, look at this. Made in China. It is a shell. Uh, I love it. Look, look at the bottom, nuts, though. though. Look at this shell on the bottom. The top is driving me nuts. It's all broken off. It's killing me. Andrew, you're a fun sponge. I'm it's $5.99. I'm sorry. I don't want damage. I do. I don't. I do. I do. I do. But look at this shell on the... Okay. It's damaged. All right, we'll leave it here for somebody else. Hopefully somebody else loves it. All right, well, let's go start back at the beginning because that was the preliminary mission. What is this little thing? Oh, it's battery operated. A little nightlight or something. What is this? Made in Poland. It's got a polished pile. Yeah, it's probably Krosno. Krosno, Poland. That's a nice piece of glass. I'm here I for it. Damage on it. You did or didn't? Okay, yeah, it doesn't look damaged to me, but I've been known to miss things in the past. No, I picked that piece up when I came down this aisle. I was waiting to see if you wanted it. Yes, yes, please. What is this? It's a little bundle of... Thing. This is Limoges. Limoges? Limoges. It's been a while since I've heard that. Let's go this way. Well, I think it's missing something, right? Isn't there supposed to be something that goes in the top? Might be, yeah. Uh, might That's be why I bit. left it, because I was thinking it had maybe a lid or something. What is that rabbit thing right there? It's like a magic trick thing. Oh, okay. See what's on these bottom shelves. Let's see that we didn't miss anything. These were made in Japan. Oh, those are Japan. They're Japan. They're Japanese. not Japan. Japanese. They're, it's the it's the island next to Japan. It's called Japan. Japanese. Really I've heard of those. Though. I know I picked those up too. They're one ninety nine a piece though. Oh, well, these are kind of nice, but the last one, man. Meh. See, okay. now these are made in Japan. This is made in Japan. Yeah, maybe if they were a buck a piece or like 50 cents a piece, I might think about it. Okay, yeah. It's kind of worn off the top. But it know. looks like it's transfer, not hand painted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a dot matrix. Dot matrix. What is this? Arbizani. Hand wash only. Another signature glass by One Source Ink. I don't know about that. Maybe if there was a set of them, I would grab those. A single just isn't gonna do it for me. What is this back here? That looks fancy. Real simple flowers, maybe not. All right, well, I did not explore this end cap at all, but I am seeing this piece. And I find that really interesting, the way they have kind of the birch handles. Looks like you tulip. I love the handles on that. That's really interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. So I think we'll maybe grab this. I'm not seeing anything else down there, really. But this is a definite yes for me. Maybe. There we go. And we're back at the mugs. We missed these the first time through. Those have some age. 
It's a creamer and sugar set. It does look like this one's got a little chippy on it. Or that could be just be like a manufacturer's defect. I don't know. This is always a fun poster. Oh, I love that. Frame's not the greatest, but... No. I'm not worried about the frame. I like it. For six bucks? Yeah. You could put it in your own booth. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? With carrots on it. Kitchen Unlimited. Tabletops Unlimited or something or something. Alright, so I was literally just going to use the restroom and I noticed this Salmon Falls pottery lamp hanging out. What in the world? That's Salmon Falls. I don't see a price on it though. I'm glad I had to go to the bathroom. You know what this is? It was right by the bathroom. Oh, salmon Falls. Yeah, it's a beautiful lamp. Heck yeah. It doesn't have a price in it though. Hopefully they sell it to us. All right, I'm gonna go do what I started over here. So these caught my eye the first time we walked by. Unfortunately, one does appear to be repaired. Italian. Yeah. Salerno. Yeah, Italy. I think they're priced separately, aren't they? Yes. So one of them is broken. The other ones look to be in good condition. Which one's broken? This guy. Mm. He's got a repair. Three ninety nine. Do you want to grab these two? I mean, I hate to split them up, but at the same time, it's broken. Having to say in the listing that one is damaged is going to bring down the cost. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see that? It's pewter. I see the mark on it. But also, it's. Throw these in the cart. Oh, this got a big dent inside. Of course it does. It is always dented. I really love these with the ferns on them, but it's not like real um, fragile ceramic. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of the times the Italian right pottery is real fragile. This is a red lottery. What do you say on the bottom? I don't know. Okay. All right, let's go look at purses. Okay, 99. Grab it. Yeah, I like that. Paint by numbers. I like the bear. I don't think it's real, though, is it? No, of course not. <laughs> I like that one, too. Oh, we need the toilet. <gasps> the outdoor toilet. <laughs> like, we need that. that I woke up this morning and I thought, you know what? I really need a toilet picture. artwork of the toilet for my bathroom. <laughs> Actually, I think I'd put that in the living room. <laughs> Andrew, look at this one. So look at this one. It's a real painting. Is it? Yeah. It actually has brush strokes. It looks like it, like it was. It's well executed. Look at the way your face is done. Sorry. Yeah. I feel like it's worth more than twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. But do we need it though? We have so much art. Yeah, that's a good show. piece. Or do we leave it for somebody else to benefit from? I like it too much. It's very romantic. Look, she's even got a fancy fan. That's a cool picture. It's a cool one. Okay, thank you, love you. I also love this. That would be a little harder to ship.
I think I'm satisfied with the artwork. What is that? It's a big fancy belt. I usually don't look at belts, but that one caught my eye as I was walking by. Interesting. Look at that big fancy thing. Money scarf. See anything in purses? No, what about this little shell bag? This is kind of a fun purse. Fun, but I don't know if it's ten dollars worth of fun. So I'm gonna stick that back up. This one down here. Ooh, you didn't like that one, Andrew? It's got, it's got yeah. some fraying. So just glue that back into place. I love the pastel colors of it, you know? $10. Does it say where it's made? It's Czechoslovakia? Uh, there's nothing in there. There's no tags at all. Hmm. And that one, I'd be willing to pay 10 bucks for. Oh, I see the side. Never yeah, mind. It's all split. Apart. Okay. Never mind. It's a shame. All right, so I walked by this a few times. I figured I'll at least film it, even though I'm not gonna buy it. It's $4.99, it's got this super cute dog on the back, but you can see there where it had a chip that just developed into a crack, which is really super unfortunate because it's a really neat piece. I love it. That crack is just gonna get worse and worse. But yeah, I think, I think that's it. All right, so our total spend there was $126. I feel like we got some really good stuff. I was really thrilled with the little owl. Very excited. I think it was a student piece, um, but it was just so adorable and little and chubby. He was really cute. Um, the other piece we got was the painting for $12.99. I snapped a picture and sent it to my friend Peter, and he has confirmed that it is a probably a student study of what was it? Of the, what did you what did he say it was, Andrew? You just looked at it. I missed it. Um, Dance in the Country by Renoir. Ren Renoir. It is a student copy of that, but I, I feel like they did a pretty good job. It's probably why I was attracted to it, because I'm like, oh, this is a good one. Because it is a copy of a famous painting. So, oh well. Uh, but anyway, we are going to get out of here now. I'm not sure what we're going to do next, whether we're going to go head up another place. It is noon-ish, and we do have to get back to Pennsylvania. And we will see all of you guys tomorrow, so... Before I end this video, I just wanted to let all of you know that I'm going to be the guest once again on the Nurse Flipper channel on Tuesday, July 20th, 2021 at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be there with my friend Misty, with Julian, and with Kat. So hopefully you're able to tune into that, and um, I will see you then. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.